I'd like to explain the difference between these two different hull shapes as to how they how they behave in large seas. Okay, here we have a flat bottom hull, here we have a round bottom hull. Okay, now the flat bottom hull is more prone to rocking in large waves than what the round bottom hull is. And that's because the effect of buoyancy on that flat bottom hull is greater than what it is here insofar as, as that wave rolls under that flat bottom hull it pushes up on the one side therefore it keeps the hull more or less parallel with the surface of the water whereas this one the effect of buoyancy doesn't have quite as much of it uh, it doesn't exert quite as much force so it's not able to, to tip it as much as what it does here now you also have the effect of gravity that's pulling down on it being that the gravity is low it's fairly heavy that has a tendency to want to keep that vessel more parallel with the surface of the earth as opposed to the water. So generally for vessels that are working out on the high seas where they might encounter large waves they're generally more round bottom more deep draft vessels because they they don't quite they, they may roll a bit but they don't quite uh, rock like they would one of these because of the fact that um, you know they have all of that weight down low. Now something like this it's good platform for when you're in inland waters or places where the waters are fairly calm. Uh, but if you're going out on the high seas, this is something more like what you'd, look, you'd want to have under your feet.